Uh, uh, I'm glad to get the opportunity to talk on this very important bill here today. This P baby pain relief bill is critically, crucially important to ensure that any baby with a heartbeat doesn't have to endure pain or feel pain while being aborted or while they are being killed and denying them the right to make their way into this world. Indeed, there are several other pressing problems and issues that we should be highlighting on behalf of communities that are left down and under constant attack by the three government parties, people needing medical interventions, farmers, hauliers, working class people whose incomes are diminishing on a daily basis and people who can't uh, even go to work because of COVID. But if we are to be worth our salt here in this dark today, we have to stand up for those who can't defend themselves and those who can't talk up for themselves. We have to stand up at this Christmas time, the time of peace and goodwill, stand up for these defenseless babies, God's creatures who can't defend themselves. They have done nothing wrong to anyone. They were conceived naturally like every one of us, but they are not to be allowed to live. And to top it all, they, are to, they have to endure pain while they're being discarded from this uh, life being, and being hurt in the process of ending their little lives. I am calling you, Minister and the government, to ensure that everything possible is done to ensure that pain relief is administered to each baby that has a beating heartbeat. I don't subscribe to the notion that it should be only those babies over 20 weeks uh, gestation. Every baby with a beating heart should not have to feel pain. What's so, what's so different? There's nothing different between a, a baby over 20 weeks or, or the baby under it. They're, they're, they're all human beings to me anyway, and God created them, and, 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 and they're, they're life to me anyway, and they shouldn't be... They shouldn't be uh, uh, discounted like this. This has been asked for since the abortion was legalized, but there has been a refusal to extend a morsel of compassion to th these babies as they breathe their last breath in this world. This is the most forceful and condemning evidence that we are losing our empathy and we and our way as a society. Recent scientific evidence concludes that unborn babies feel pain as early as 12 weeks, maybe sooner. And to ignore this, Minister, is reckless. Indeed, unborn babies that are to be born in a natural way, and uh, in, a, in the natural way, and are going to be allowed to live in the normal way, are looked on by baby surgeons as their patients and are administered pain relief medication as standard medical practice. So they are administered. There is medical interventions to, 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 to stop the pain and, and, and to numb the pain. Pain relief for animals is, is provided for in primary legislation and properly so. The Animal Health and Welfare Bill of 2013 provides that veterinarians administer pain relief during any procedures or interventions that would cause pain to the animal. Surely we must ensure that unborn babies with a heartbeat are dealt with in a compassionate way and give them pain relief. If there's any humanity in the government, I'm asking them, why are you putting down, why are you putting down an amendment to, to a bill that's as harmless as this? Is it just because they want to oppose what, what only people uh, that want to uh, stop uh, uh, children, little babies, of having pain in this way? And it's such a small thing to ask. We should be, we should be asking that we left leave, but at this stage now, because of the, of the, of the, 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 the abortion laws that were passed and changed, this, this is all we can ask for, and we're, we're asking from our hearts out that he, that he adhere to what we're asking, and please help little, little babies that, that have done nothing in the, wrong to anyone in this world. If he don't help these, I, I can't see that he will help anyone at all that he is supposed to be helping while he's in, in government. 6,666 
children were uh, aborted in the first year uh, uh, after the legislation was, was changed. This, I, I say to you, Minister, these little children are an awful loss to, to, to our country and to our community. I have the, the pleasure of having a young granddaughter, Brady Healy Ray, uh, five weeks ago, and to think that she would have been, that, 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 that anything or anyone would harm uh, her or hurt or cause her pain to, to, to drive me down through the ground, Minister. And, 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 and I, I have five grandchildren and I do, adore each and every one of them. Um, we need to do more to help uh, mothers and fathers, indeed, to ensure that there is another way. And we're not doing that, Minister. Uh, many here inside were hell-bent on ensuring that the abortion bill went through. That was their right, and the people that voted for it, that was their right. But that don't say that I say that it is, it is right. I think that these children could be, uh, if they grow up, and they do grow up, Minister, and they don't belong, they don't belong becoming men and women, uh, and, and there would have been a, a massive asset to, the, to this country. Uh, what, and you're saying to delay this by, by your amendment. I want to remind you that 18 babies are being aborted daily, so they are going to suffer pain, 126 weekly, and up to si over 6,000 in a year. Surely, Minister, time, we, we, we shouldn't, shouldn't be wasting time. Is there humanity in you or in your government? If there is, now is your time to stand up and, and do what we're asking, just to administer pain relief in the course of these abortions where we're ending little babies' lives. Thank you very much.